Adobe Fireworks is a program that's part of the Adobe Creative Suite. Formerly known as Macromedia Fireworks, the program is a bitmap and vector graphics editor that is typically used to create interactive graphics and website prototypes, as well as interfaces for apps and games. It can be easily integrated with other Adobe products such as Dreamweaver and Flash for use in website design. Since it's not necessary to know a lot of code to use the program, it's ideal for experienced graphic designers and DIY enthusiasts alike. Adobe Fireworks CS6 is the latest version of the product to be released. However, it was announced by Adobe that it will also be the last version they'll release. Users will continue to be able to purchase Fireworks CS6 and use it as they would any of the other Adobe Creative Suite products. In addition, they'll also be able to use Adobe Fireworks CS6 as part of Creative Cloud. This means that users can either purchase the program for a one-time fee or pay for a monthly subscription. However, since many of the features in Fireworks overlap with programs such as Photoshop, Illustrator, and Edge Reflow, Adobe will not create or release any new versions of Fireworks CS6, nor will they provide any updates except for bug fixes. If you're an experienced Fireworks user and have upgraded to CS6 from a previous version, such as CS5, the new features contained in CS6 will be helpful to you. Here are some of the most critical upgrades so that as you start to use Fireworks CS6, you'll be sure to watch for these improvements. New and improved panels. The color picker is now available in Fireworks so that you get just the right color that you need to use. New and better template section and common library. Advanced rendering capabilities for pixel-perfect rendering. Copy and paste from Fireworks to Dreamweaver. Import and export to Illustrator or Photoshop. Easier to use vector and bitmap graphic tools. Increased CSS support and more. This course was designed to teach you how to successfully use Adobe Fireworks CS6, no matter if you have ever used the program before or not. Both the beginner and seasoned user can benefit from this course starting with the basics of the program, including navigation and continuing on to more advanced features. You don't need to have access to Fireworks to take or complete this course. However, it is recommended. Please note that a 30-day free trial of Fireworks CS6 is available on the Adobe website for those who want to practice what they learn and follow along. We've broken this course down into multiple lessons to make it easier for students to study and practice the program. Each lesson details different features of Fireworks and provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to use them. At the end of each lesson, you'll find a lesson exercise and lesson assignment. The lesson exercises were designed to test you on the material presented in that lesson. Lesson exercises are graded, therefore they're mandatory. Lesson assignments give you a chance to practice what you've learned in the lesson by using Fireworks. These are optional and don't affect your grade, but it is encouraged that every student try to complete them. Files that you create within Fireworks are referred to as documents. These documents are PNG files, or portable network graphic files. When you open Fireworks CS6, you'll see this dialog box. To create a new document, go to the Create New column and select Fireworks document. We're going to create a new web page. To do this, we'll set our height to 600 pixels, and we'll set the width to 960. We'll leave the resolution at the default setting of 72 ppi, or pixels per inch. The resolution that you choose will depend on the project. For example, if you're creating a print project, you should ask your printer what resolution you should be using. Typically, it's 300 ppi. If you're designing for devices with higher resolution capabilities, you may want to use a higher resolution as well. Otherwise, 72 or 96 ppi is usually fine. Choose a canvas color. You can select either white, transparent, or custom. We're going to choose white. Click OK. The Fireworks window then opens. The new document is located in the work area of Fireworks. The work area is located in the center of the Fireworks window. The Fireworks window consists of menus, toolbars, and panels in addition to the work area. Let's take a minute to discuss the different parts of the Fireworks window and begin to learn how to navigate through the program. Let's start at the top of the window where you'll see the application bar. The application bar contains the menu bar as well as other features. If you click on any of the menu commands such as File, Edit, or View, you can see the tools or options available to you for that command. Just below the menu bar, you'll see the Zoom and Pan tools, the Workplace Switcher, and the Help Search field. To use the Help Search field, type in what you need help with and press Enter. 
The tools panel is located on the far left of the fireworks window. The tools panel is broken down into six areas, select, bitmap, vector, web, colors, and views. Select area tools are used for selecting, cropping, distorting, and scaling objects. Bitmap area tools are for creating and or editing bitmap objects. Vector area tools are for creating and editing vector paths and shapes. Since text is a vector, you'll also find the text tool in this area. Web area tools are used for optimizing graphics for the web and creating interactive documents. Colors area tools allow you to add stroke and fill colors. View area tools allow you to switch between the three views, standard, full screen with menus, and full screen. At the bottom of the fireworks window is the properties panel. It's not important that you learn how to use any of the tools or panels at this time. Instead, it's important to familiarize yourself with the look and feel, as well as the layout of the program. The panel dock is located on the right side of the window. As you start to use the different panels in Fireworks, you'll find them here. In Fireworks CS6, just as with other Adobe editing programs, the rulers can help you align objects in your document. To view the rulers in Fireworks CS6, go to View Rulers. As you learned in the last section of this lesson, the panel dock is located on the right side of the Fireworks window. In Fireworks, a dock is simply a collection of panels that are displayed together. This one contains the Optimize, History, and Align panels. To adjust the order of the panels in a panel group, simply drag on the tab of the panel you wish to move, then drop it in its new location. Let's drag the Optimize tab so it appears after the History panel tab. In addition to adding or removing panels from a panel group, you can also collapse all of the panel groups, or just a certain panel group. To collapse all of the panels, simply click on the Collapse Icons button in the top right. To collapse one panel group, right-click on the gray tab bar to the far right of the panel tabs. Select Minimize. Click Expand to bring it back. To increase or decrease the width of the panels, drag on the left outer edge of the panels. Drag outward to increase the width and drag inward to decrease the width. Once you take time to organize your panels and panel groups, you may want to save the configuration for future documents. You can do this by creating a new workspace. To create a new workspace, go to the Workplace Switcher. Select Save Current from the drop-down menu. Enter a name for the new workspace and then click OK. In Fireworks, you can have more than one document open at a time. Here you can see that we have two documents open. Each document is represented by a tab. To view a document, click on its tab. Just as with panels, you can drag on the tabs to rearrange the order of the documents. You can also drag a document tab away from the tab documents to create a floating document.